Do you ever feel anxious, nervous, paranoid when you have too much time on your hands? Just to catch up, I work with clients for six months. So, you know, this is a normal thing that happens after six months. You know, if the if the objective was reached that, you know, got the company started on YouTube, then in a perfect situation, they would take the reins and go do their own thing. So just because I've had a project transition off doesn't mean it wasn't successful. But then I had another client that needed to pause because I believe they are just traveling a lot and they're not gonna actually have a chance to record anything um, over the next two months. I went from feeling like I had no time to create content whatsoever to all the time in the world. Of course, I'm still doing a lot of stuff with Lincoln um, and they keep asking to do more stuff, which is amazing because they are, I would have to say, like an ideal client. They've invested in hiring people that are that support video. They've built the infrastructure within their business. They've they've actually taken the ideas and applied them and have gone so much further than just what I would normally expect of a client. They really, really believe in video. And then of course I work with Natalie still and Natalie is great. She just travels a lot and she's doing a lot of other things and things that pull her attention away from creating content all the time. I have two really amazing clients in that respect. So as I'm sitting here and I'm just anxious and it's like, man, you're like, you know, I really wish that I had maybe three or four shows going on simultaneously instead of two. I also have to, to kind of think and reflect on the fact that if I didn't have this particular time off, we'll call it time off, I wouldn't have been able to take time to really like work on my website, work on my YouTube channel, post more videos, um, finally make a, a conscious uh, transition over to TikTok for a lot of my social video content. I wouldn't have had the opportunity to do that because I was literally like going from one shoot to the next. And as soon as I would get home from a full day of shooting, then I would have to go and start editing. And then I'd have a show due the next day. And then I'd have another shoot that day. And I like, it was just a cycle that while it was thrilling and exciting, it was also exhausting. And I couldn't actually do anything productive to work on my business. I was spending a lot of time working in the business. So just a, uh, this is just really a video to kind of say, if you're in this position, if you've, if you're kind of in a, in a place where you're in like a dip right now in terms of like your activity or new, new projects and things coming in, that you're not alone. Um, <laughs> this is something that is a, a very specific interest, I think, to all entrepreneurs, all freelancers. There's always going to be times where things slow down a little bit. And what I would say and what I'm trying to do, so I'm trying to be a good example of this, is to really just lean into it and decide that, you know what, this time I'm gonna focus on working on my business. I'm gonna do stuff to, you know, like business development. I'm going to maybe identify some clients that I wanna work with. Instead of just waiting for someone to come to me, I'm actually gonna sit there and like think, hmm, like who out there needs a video strategy? Who out there needs the kind of thing that I can offer? And then just reach out to them. Because at the end of the day, I still believe that what I do is, very different um, from what most freelance video uh, producers or video editors do. I'm not just editing a talking head video. I'm not just creating a talking head video. You know, these are shows. This is converting what you do as a business, as a company, into something that's entertaining and educational. And, and I think somewhere in those two words, the word enlightening kind of crosses over like if you did a venn diagram like enlightening would probably be an educational and and entertaining but really just kind of reveals to people that watch like who is the business who are the people there what do they believe in what do they do how do they help that's the kind of content that i love to make that's the kind of content that i need to start making more of for my own channel and i'm really looking at this period as like a as a benefit right like it's a it's a it's extra Still would like the paychecks, but it's um, at a certain point, you have to kind of think about billing yourself for doing the things that you do. If you're a marketing agency, but you don't spend any time marketing yourself, like what does that look like to other people? You know, you should be able to fully use whatever skill set you, you sell as a service to other people. You should be able to use that for yourself. And so 
I'm taking this time to, to do that. So that's why you're seeing more video on the channel. And um, I just want to make a plug for my TikTok page because I haven't really talked about it. I'm now actually starting to post things I would normally post on Instagram on TikTok. I would love to see you there as well as obviously here on YouTube. Let me know what you think of the video, um, of, of the topic specifically, especially if you're a freelancer, how do you handle um, periods of downtime? I'd love to know and I'll see you next video.